Let's talk about the pioneers of the magical box. We have a whole bunch of brilliant minds to thank for bringing us the gift of television. But, if we're talking about the earliest days, we have to give props to a Scottish inventor named John Logie Baird. He's considered the father of television for his work in the 1920s. Can you imagine what it must have been like for him to be tinkering away in his lab and suddenly realizing he could broadcast moving images through the airwaves? I bet he was like, whoa, this is trippy man. This is truly amazing. It was a lot different back then. The screens were tiny, the images were grainy, and there was only one channel to watch. But, people were still thrilled to see moving images in their homes. It was like the wild west of television, anything went. They had cooking shows, talent shows, and even a show where two guys just sat in chairs and talked. Can you imagine? And people tuned in every week. I guess we really have come a long way. In the early days, televisions were like Frankenstein's monster. Pieced together with whatever technology was lying around. Can you imagine some mad scientist saying, Hey, let's stick a cathode ray tube onto a wooden box and see what happens. And boom, the television was bun. They were clunky, heavy, and only displayed black and white images. But they were still a marvel of modern technology. And let's talk about the tubes, folks. These things were like mini nuclear reactors. They were so big and heavy that if you dropped one, it could probably take out a sitter block. And they had to warm up for like 20 minutes before you could even see anything on the screen. Took about a long wait time. But, hey, we were just happy to have moving images in our homes. Fast forward to today, and televisions have come a long way, baby. They are slimmer, lighter, and can display a million colors. It's like the difference between a pterodactyl and a hummingbird. And instead of tubes, we have LED and OLED screens. It's like the technology went from a steam engine to a spaceship. As time went on and technology advanced, television became more and more a part of our daily lives. It's where we got our news, where we escaped from reality for a little while, where we laughed and cried with our favorite characters. It became a window to the world and a cultural touchstone. It also became a source of endless arguments about what channel to watch. Honey, I really want to watch the game, but the missus is really into her soaps. Sound familiar? Television has also had a major impact on politics. Remember when JFK made that famous speech on TV? Or when the Watergate scandal broke on the evening news? Television has given us a front row seat to some of the most important moments in our nation's history. But, let's not get too serious. Because at the end of the day, television is all about entertainment. And boy, has it delivered. From classic sitcoms like I Love Lucy to modern day hits like Game of Thrones, television has been a constant source of joy and laughter in our lives. And, let's not forget about the commercial breaks. This is the greatest moment of my life! Get out of my yard! Jimmy? You're so old. It's the future! In conclusion, folks, the television has been a true game changer. It's brought us together. It's taken us to far flans. And it's given us a front row seat to history. So, next time you're settling in for a night of Netflix and chill, take a moment to appreciate the little box that changed the world.